right, in this video, I'm going to show you really quickly how to get started with dynamic time warping, how to use this DTW Mouse Explorer to um, get a sense for how dynamic time warping works and start exploring what you can do with it. So when I open up Wackinator, I'm going to tell it to listen for two inputs. Here, this program is going to send my mouse X and Y position. Um, and we're going to control a dynamic time warping output with um, as many gesture types as you want. These gesture types here are just going to be shapes that you draw on the screen. So when I uh, get my new dynamic time warping project open, you'll see that I've got these sort of progress bar areas here and what are going to act as indicator lights here on the side. And uh, when in my DTW Mouse Explorer program, I can use the keyboard to change which gesture class I'm going to be recording examples into. Um, so let's start with class one, and I'll draw a circle. And as soon as I lift up the mouse again, you see that I've added one example of type gesture one. And maybe let's uh, change that to two, and I'll draw a different shape, just a line going down. Now, as soon as I have one gesture of at least one of these gesture classes, I can run dynamic time warping. And so I'll switch this into run mode, and I can start drawing stuff on the screen. And you see that as I draw, Wackinator is continually looking at the most recent part of the sequence of XY points here and looking at how closely that sequence matches my one example of class one, my circle, and my one example of class two, my line. And I can adjust this match threshold here. And if I put my threshold a little bit lower, you'll see that these green lights start to go off. And you'll see this green light whenever the distance between my most recent sequence here and my example, say here, is closer than this threshold. So let's try to put this threshold in a place so that I only get the green light when I'm drawing a circle and I only get the green light here when I'm drawing a line. All right, looks pretty good. Now, the final important thing to note is that when this green light goes on, um, Wackinator is going to send an OSC message corresponding to this gesture out to whatever is listening. And likewise, when this light goes on, it's going to send out another OSC message. We can look at what these OSC messages are by hitting that button and looking at this box that pops up. So by default, these are your um, OSC messages that Wackinator is going to send, but I can change this if I want to anything else. All right, so this is the, the OSC message for the first row here, the first gesture, the second gesture, and so on. 